Right here, we have Mike Trout revealing his batting practice routine and giving the playbook on how to drive the baseball and being successful. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna watch this video and then I'm gonna give my analysis on the back end. And then after that, I'm gonna give you a gift, but you have to watch it to the end to receive that gift. That's gonna help you to be a better hitter. So with that being said, let's get it. Thanks, Matty. Here with Mike Trout, best players in the game, obviously maybe the best. Dude, spring training. This is a time we're trying to get ready, trying to figure things out. What's your routine as far as getting ready for your swing before you go out and play those games in the morning time? Yeah, uh, you know, get to the ballpark early. Uh, we got 9.30 meetings and then, um, you know, hitting the cage, uh, just working off a tee. Right. And then um, I come, you know, we come stretch, um, hit BP. Uh, first round, just stay right center, you know, balls to the right field. Right. And then, um, you know, just stay out the middle the whole time. You know, a couple of times I, you know, hit, try to hit the ball left center just to stay, uh, you know, square with the pitcher and, you know, keep myself balanced. And sometimes I get too much, you know, chicken wing or, you know, trying to force it that way, opposed to just swinging and letting it go. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. What about the tee work? I mean, you know, guys, when you're talking to kids, you're like, oh, I'm not doing the tee. I'm like, hey, listen, Mike Trout, all these the best players in the world do tee work. When you're off the tee in the cages, what are you working on? Yeah, no, um, yeah, with the tee, I like to, you know, set up high and get on top of the ball. Yeah. Um, for me, it's, you know, when you drop the shoulder down and you lift your, you know, you're all dropping the bat, your barrel goes everywhere. So it's uh, just getting on top of the ball. You know, I just get in, the, get in the cage, take about 10, 20 swings, and just try to hit a ground ball off the middle every time. When you're in, when you're in the box, what is, your, what is your thought process when you're facing that guy on the mound? Yeah, and no, I don't want to tell you all my secrets. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just messing. But no. uh, yeah, I'm up. Um, I'm always sitting fastball, fastball up the middle. Um, for me, if I sit off speed, hit through me a fastball, I'm done. So I like to, you know, just sit fastball and react to the off speed. You know, if I get my, if I'm uh, on time with the fastball, I'm definitely gonna be on time with the, uh, you know, off speed. Let's take a couple rips. Yeah. Little side flips, dude, which I which, which I like to do couple rips here it's spring training which this is the good time to just do whatever you want to do right you yeah. come out here no big deal no cage yeah. or anything like that so it's just gonna oh just right there right out of bed oh. right yeah you're bad <laughs> right out of bed <laughs> no big deal first two swings of the day just a couple right center missiles see like that i was just a little too much like that right so you just so. you're looking to just drive if it's over there boom boom yeah. just drive it right back up the middle into the gaps, right? Yep, in the gap, gap to gap. Gap to gap. You uh, you start thinking, you know, corners and stuff, you start to get off balance, but uh, stay up the middle, gap to gap. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it, it's funny when people talk about, hey, let me get, get up there and pull. When you try and pull everything, right? Yeah, I, you if off. I, uh, you know, if I start trying to pull everything, I get a long swing, just gotta keep it short up the middle. And, you know, if you, if you stay up the middle, it'll help you on, you know, the pitch inside too. Because if you're thinking inside and they throw you outside, you're just gonna roll over every time. So it's yeah. just keeping you balanced and, uh, you know, up the middle. All right, give me two more rockets. Two more rockets? Yeah, <laughs> just like you've been doing, no big deal. Just a couple of ham and egg sandwiches and then a couple of missiles up the middle just to get things started. There you go. Trouty, thanks a lot, dude. Appreciate it, thank you. There you got it, best player on the planet right here. Hits off the tee, drives the balls up the middle, into the gaps. Back to you. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm former Major League Baseball player Jermaine Curtis, and today we have Mike Trout revealing his BP routine while giving the playbook. And what is the playbook? The playbook is the map to get high level results. And Mike Trout shares that today, and it's something I wish I had when I was younger. So, what did he say? Well, the first thing he said was he uses the T. And there's a lot of young players right now saying, I don't like using the T. Why should I use the T? Man, you got the best hitter in the game using the T. But why does he use the team? Everything that you see MLB players do, pro players do, they're doing it for a reason. They're just not using it just to use it. They're doing it for a reason. For him, he says he puts the T up and he tries to hit ground balls up the middle. Well, the first thing here, when you're trying to hit the ball up the middle, your direction is right because you're going to stay up the middle. You're not going to pull off the ball. You're not going to open up. You're going to stay in the, uh, the right direction to get consistent results. That's number one. Two, he said he's trying to hit ground balls. And I know a lot of you guys are like, what, what, what? Mike Trout's trying to hit ground balls? I don't understand. But what he's saying is 
he's using his top hand, right? Because if you try to hit a ground ball with your bottom hand, that barrel's gonna drop. That barrel's gonna go like this, boop, drop, okay? But with your top hand, it goes right to the ball. So what he's doing is using that top hand, he start getting it activated. And there's a reason why he's doing it. You know, the one thing that everybody knocks on trial is like he can't hit the ball up in the zone. And if you see him, most of the guys now are throwing at the top of the strike zone. So he's making an adjustment. And and the reason I know that is because his launch angle back in the day was like 20 degrees. So he was getting more under the ball and he was driving the baseball. But now this year he's at 11 degrees or 12 degrees around there. So he's making an adjustment because the league is making an adjustment. And that's a tip to you guys too. You're gonna have to continually evolve as a hitter. When I was younger, I had a different swing. Every few years you change your swing. You, you have to make an adjustment. I played 10 years professionally and the first year when I came in everybody was throwing sinkers and then Mike Trout was eating them up because they were throwing that fat that sinker down in the zone he was just hammering them then all of a sudden everybody started throwing cutters so we all had to make an adjustment and I remember saying like how do how do I hit the cutter like this thing is crazy it's you know it's it's crazy it was frustrating me and then all of a sudden everyone started throwing high fastballs and you have to make that adjustment so you you start to evolve so what you're doing right now will start changing but what you should do is learn from what Mike Trout is saying because there's a lot of things you could take to your game and use it and then you know separate yourself from the rest so what else did he say he said he when he took BP he was working up the middle first round was he's trying to hit it to right field so if you're a right-handed hitter you're trying to drive it to right right center and why is that important well what you're doing is bringing the point of contact to you while staying squared and you're going to stay on your backside to do it okay so that right there is teaching you the right mechanics to be successful then as each round progresses he goes up the middle so he's trying to stay up the middle with with this swing path and so what that does is that makes you work the right direction so you're not pulling off you know you see a lot of young players they hit bp and they're just turning and burning early and they're teaching themselves bad mechanics and then they're wondering why they're hitting ground balls in the game so work with the process that's the difference between the amateurs and the pros is that everything the pro does he's doing for a reason it's a process and everything that the amateur does it's not really a process and it's understandable you guys are learning but take this information take this information and use it to your advantage i wish i had this when i was younger so he also says that he tries to hit the ball to left center to stay squared and that's another thing too. He's not trying to pull the ball. He's trying to hit it to left center. You work the right swing mechanics where that when you hit it out front, it goes pull side without you even trying. The reason why I like this video is because when I was younger, I used to hear stories of players like Ted Williams, Babe Ruth. I heard different types of stories, but one that resonated with me that makes sense in this situation is Chuck Knobloch. Chuck Knobloch, if you guys don't know, he was a machine. This guy could hit, but if you looked at his batting practice, he talked about hitting ground balls to the L screen. He would hit ground balls his first round to the L screen. Then his second round, he would hit line drives to the L screen. Then his third round, he would hit a little bit higher than the L screen and then his fourth round we hit line drives to center field his entire rounds were up the middle and then this guy just goes out there and he was getting two to three hits like every game he was an animal mike trout is like the super version of that <laughs> He is hitting line drives up the middle, but he's also hitting out of the ballpark to right center, center, left center, and left. But he has the same process, and this is the playbook right here. Stay up the middle. If you can miss a ball and get it past the pitcher, that's a base hit all day, unless they're playing the shift on you. Um, but most of you guys that are seeing this, they're not going to have the shift. So that's a base hit all day, and that's your miss hit. And if you get it, you drive that baseball, man, it's going to be crazy. And I want to add one more quick story to this when i was playing we played against jd martinez and he just had his he just changed his swing right and i was in triple leg trying to get back to the big leagues and when he was um taking bp for the tigers because he got hurt and his first rounds 
he was hitting the ball all all the center field. This entire round was center field, but he was trying to hit it as high as he could to center field. And he was working that path the entire time. And I just watched his BP and I was like, oh, I get it. I understand what he's trying to do. He's trying to hit everything in the air to center field drive it over the center field wall and he has that swing path where it allows him to do it so if you're a young baseball player i highly highly recommend using this to your advantage right here he gave you the playbook mike trout gave you what you needed and since you watched until the end that tells me you're a serious baseball player and i want to give you this book right here this is the hitter's log playbook right here this right here helped me to be a big leaguer. And basically what you're going to do is jot down everything, your thoughts, your approach, your plan at the plate. You're going to jot down what the pitcher's throwing to you. You're going to jot down everything. You're going to jot down the drills you use in practice. So you're going to jot down everything, put it in this playbook. And after you get a good sample size, you can go back and look at what do you do well? What pitches you hit well? Where do you hit the ball and have the most success? And when you know that, that's when you can play to your strengths and be the best hitter you can be see mike trout knows what he does well and that's why he's so successful as a hitter and that's what this book would do for you so if you're interested i want to give it to you for free all you have to do is just pay the shipping on it so click the link below and get it for free click on it go over there um, and you can get this for free just pay shipping so i want to thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed this hit that like button subscribe to the channel and i want to know your thoughts comment below on this video what's your bp routine let me know thank you guys and i'll see you in the next video